from the North German plane, the Queen's Royal Hussars fire their Challenger II main battle tanks. The Hohner Gunnery Camp is a ritual that's taken place almost every February for decades. I love going out to ranges here, firing tanks, driving tanks, learning to fight them is absolutely our core business. And when I see our soldiers and officers on their tanks getting really good at their drills, I think that is when the regiment feels incredibly sort of happy and together. But live firing in Hohner may not be such a regular fixture in future. The Queen's Royal Hussars are leaving Germany. This summer, the Army's senior armoured regiment moves to a new base at Tidworth in Wiltshire. It's got its negatives and its positives. Obviously, it'd be closer to family, moving back. Um, obviously, not having to fork out the money to pay for flights to go back with two kids and a wife as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, living in Germany, also, obviously, it's got its positives. It's a good place. People are friendly. The departure will mark the end of a long chapter. For the first time in 74 years, the army will have no tank units based in Germany. Only the Queen's Royal Hussars and one other British regiment will still be equipped with tanks. The army's remaining Challenger twos are to be upgraded under a life extension programme. Ourselves and the Royal Tank Regiment have got to remain on Challenger 2. We're hoping that we can do a bit more integration with regiments uh, and get the best of both from their best practices and our best practices so that we can move forward as a Royal Armour Corps and be the best trained soldiers that we can be. As they prepare to head for Britain, the Queen's Royal Hussars' diary is packed. Soon they'll be undergoing 37 days intensive training on the Canadian Prairie. At the end of this year, they begin eight months leading a NATO battle group in Estonia. But the Queen's Royal Hussars don't believe they've seen the last of Germany. We'll definitely come and train here. I think the training facilities, particularly the multinational ones in Grafenwehr, the ranges in Hohner, I think are, are too good for us not to keep coming back and training with and making sure that we're comfortable operating on mainland Europe alongside our key allies.